Hi everyone, my name is Vicky. I am a mum of one little boy who is going to be five in a couple of days. And I also have a stepdaughter. Um, so my husband has a daughter from a previous relationship and she is eight. This is my first ever vlog. Um, so please, please be kind. Um, I'm going to explain why I'm doing this a little bit later in the video. Um, so there is a reason for all of this. There's a little announcement in this video. Um, obviously an introduction to myself and my family. Um, and then I'm going to do a little small haul at the end just to keep it really interesting for you all. So I hope you like it. So I'm going to start with sort of the reason why I'm doing this. So I have three kind of main passions in life. There are many, but these are my three sort of big ones that I focus on a lot. Um, the first and most important one are my children. Um, as you all know, they're the most important things to us. Um, so part of my vlogs are gonna be based around being a mum. Um, and my second passion is my home, interiors. Um, we're currently in the process of renovating our period home. We've had our home for two and a half years. Um, we live in Wiltshire, um, so sort of in the countryside. We live in a small village. Um, we bought the house um, with a view to renovate it. Um, we've currently done um, aesthetic things on the inside um, and we have just applied for planning permission which is really exciting um, to do an extension out of the back which I'd love to share with you all the, the progress of how it's going. Um, and my third passion, if any of you know me, um, I'm sure you can see this coming, is fitness. Um, so I love keeping fit, um, staying healthy, toned, um, so I'll be doing gym routines, um, and what I eat in a day. Um, but the most exciting part of this video, I think, um, is I do have an announcement. Not actually many people know, um, it's just my close friends and family. So, without further ado, da -da -da. yay, we're expecting. So, we're expecting um, my second baby, but my husband's third. Um, on the 1st of September, and this, I'll show you this, really, this is our 12 week scan photo, really clear, if anyone's got any ideas of what the sex may be. Um, so this, this helps me explain um, really the, the main reason I'm doing this. So since falling pregnant, no, rewind, when I was pregnant with my son, I didn't actually go to the gym a lot prior to being pregnant or um, being pregnant. It was after he was born that I really got into fitness. Um, so this time it's been a bit different for me because um, I still want to continue my fitness because I love it, but I found it really difficult. Um, I, Before I was pregnant, I would go to the gym like four times a week. I'd love it if I could go five. Obviously some weeks up it would be three, um, but as a rule I would go as many times as I could and if I could get five days in I'd feel accomplished but I'm just so tired um, this time round um, so getting out of bed in the morning is really difficult for me and um, the time I go to the gym is, is early in the morning sort of six or seven o'clock um, and I'm finding that really difficult so at the moment I'm only getting sort of two workouts in a week sometimes three but I'm not putting too much pressure on myself um, as long as I still continue to feel toned um and that'd be great um we have a big holiday coming up um in april we're going to dubai so i'm going to be filming that um so i'm babbling a little bit but the reason i first thought of doing this when i'm in the gym i tend i tend to have been of late watching youtube videos for pregnancy clothing hauls um, pregnancy workouts which led me on to all the fabulous mum bloggers um, on the um, web. Uh, one of them being a really close friend of mine who is fantastic. And I asked her for some advice and said, you know, I feel like there isn't many fitness kind of pregnancy related videos. Um, and she just said, go for it. So the whole reason for this is to... Um, maybe show you you know my motivation for getting up and going to the gym trying to stay in shape um and also maybe what i eat in a day because this pregnancy 
is so different from my last one. Now I have no idea what the sex is, that's another thing um, that we'll talk about, um, but I just want to eat everything all the time and I wasn't like that last time, I was really lucky, I had no cravings, um, whereas this time I just, I just want to eat so much. So I've done quite a bit of research into um, what, um, what I should be eating in a day and I'm trying to do that. So I thought if I could help just a few mums out there that are in the same position, that are struggling to think of the right things to eat um, that are easy and quick um, and nutritious, um, then that would be great. Um, so yeah, so that's the main thing. Um, obviously showing you all um, pregnancy hauls. So when I go to Dubai, I am going to have to do a huge shop because Quite frankly, I'm showing already, and it's another like five weeks away, I think. Um, and yeah, I, I'm gonna have to buy quite a few new things. So that'll be really exciting showing you all that. And the other thing is, we do find out the sex of our baby in just over a week's time. So I'd really like to share that with you all. Yeah, so that's that's um that's what what i'm intending on doing on this channel so to make it a little bit more interesting i haven't bought many baby bits but i did see on um a someone's instagram i can't remember who it was um it wasn't a youtuber but it's just a, a lovely girl on instagram who's just had a baby and she bought some of the billy fairs range at george asda and oh my goodness it is so nice so I bought a few bits just because they're quite unisex colours, they're greys and whites and things. Um, so I'm going to show you those. This is the bag I bought with it. So you can buy this gift bag for about £3 I think, £3 or £4. Um, I bought this because um, a friend of mine, a really close friend of mine is having a baby any day now. Um, so if she is watching this, you're going to see part of your present because there was one present in here for her. Um, but the first thing I like about this is the bag's lovely and also it comes with um, tissue paper and also this little sticker with a B on it so that you can wrap up your gift. But every item did come tissue wrapped, which I thought was so nice. Um, so the first one is actually the gift for my friend, which I'm going to rewrap with the bits that I've got there. Um, so this is how it comes, um, with a little sticker on the front. So it's so nice. If you're buying a gift for someone, you don't even need to wrap it. Um, so I haven't even seen this one yet, so let's see what it's like. So she is having a little boy. Oh, it's so sweet. Look at that. So it's like a little dungaree outfit with a little vest underneath. The vest has got little stars on it, can you see? And this is a naught to three months. What I also love about these is on the feet, it says Billy on them, which is a really nice touch. Um, it feels really nice, so it'll be interesting to see how it washes. And it's so reasonable. So this little outfit was £10. Now, I personally think that they look very white company-esque. If you bought that in the white company, you'd probably spend about 30 pounds. Don't quote me on that, but I reckon that would be about 30 pounds for something like that. And it's just beautiful. So yeah, that's the first piece. The next three pieces um, are what I bought for myself or for my baby, um, which I wasn't gonna do until I found out the sex, but I just couldn't help myself. I thought I don't want it to sell out. Um, my favourite, favourite, favourite piece is um, this little snowsuit. Oh, look. So we're having a September baby. So this is not to three months. So this will, you know, by October, November, it's going to be cold. So it's got little ears on there. And it's got like um, an embossed cloud stitched pattern on it. Um, this was £14 um, and it's got the little mittens that you can fold over on, on the end which is so nice. And again, if this was the white company or not just the white company but more expensive, it would be so much money. So for £14, 
I just think it's perfect. It's got poppers all the way down each side, which if anyone's had a baby, you need something that's easy to get open quickly when they need to come out. Um, and the next is a pack of two. So this pack of two baby grows were £10. Um, so the first one is a star pattern. And what I really love about these is the zip that goes all the way down to the leg. And again, when you're trying to change a baby's nappy, trying to faff with all the poppers around, you always do them wrong, don't you? Um, so that's that one. Um, and on the front of it here, it says, I love you more than words can say, which is so true, isn't it, everyone? And then this is just a striped one. Both of them are grey and off-white, I would say. So yeah, th those are my first buys for the baby. Um, there are going to be many, many more. Um, I've been watching some amazing mummies on here um, for newborn must-have. So I've got quite a few things to buy, although I thought I kept loads. I have kept loads, but that was five years ago I had my baby and things have come a long way um, and there's lots of things that have come out now that um, that weren't about then. So I'm really excited to buy those bits and share them with you um, and also show you all of the things I was talking about previously, so home updates, um, family vlogs and also my pregnancy top tips with workouts and food. So. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.